translation a translation maps point p 3 2 on to p prime 5 negative 4 part a determine the translation vector and then the second part of the question a point q prime is the image of the point 2 5 under the same translation find the length of p prime q prime leaving the answer in the form of a sad before we begin open your youtube application and go to the search bar type the name of my channel kcc mathematics tutorials once it loads uh, you'll be able to see my channel with the logo uh, kcc mathematics tutorials please consider to subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed and don't forget to enable all the notification to be up to date with all the content and materials i upload once in the channel you'll be able to see all the videos of the tutorials and the content i have prepared and I hope this will help you in the process of learning. Thank you. So let's go to the first question. We require to get this translation vector. We're given the object point and the image point. So what you're going to do, the first thing is to write these um, vector in, uh, in column form. Write the vectors in column form. So like um, vector of P, uh, we're going to write it as um, 3, 2 like that and this one is being translated uh, t is uh, the translation vector to p prime which is given by 5 negative 4 now to get uh, the translation vector we simply take the column vector for the image that is for the p prime so therefore the translation vector is given by the column vector for the image that is 5 and negative 4 we subtract the column vector of each object that is uh, 3 2 that is how we get the translation vector because simply when translating a point and you're given uh, as a vector to get the image you add that translation vector so this is what you're going to get, uh, 5 subtract, uh, this will give 2, and this will give uh, negative 6. So therefore, uh, the translation vector, let me create more space here. Therefore, the translation vector, the translation vector is given by 2, negative 6. As simple as that. So that is how we get the translation vector. Now the next, let's go to uh, the second part of the question. Uh, the second part of the question. A point Q prime is the image of the point 2, 5 under the same translation. Find the length P prime Q prime, leaving the answer in the form of a sad. Now Q prime is the image of point 2, 5. Therefore, uh, point 2, 5 uh, refers to the object which is Q that is uh, 2 5 and this one is being translated to Q prime which is um, given by just um, we have uh, this one now th this one is what we don't have so we can uh, let these uh, to be let's say X and Y simple as that but in this case we know the translation vector and the translation vector is what we just got there which is uh, 2 negative 6 so this is 2 negative 6 so having this translation vector just said uh, just a few minutes ago that when you're given a point and you're given the translation vector to get the image we simply take uh, the coordinate in column form of the object point we add the translation vector to get the image so in this case uh, for us to get a uh, q prime q prime will be given by we shall take uh, the object point which is 2 5 in column form that is uh, q in column form we add the translation vector translation vector is 2 negative 6 so these is what is going to give us q prime so this will give 4 negative 1 so that is 
Q prime. Now we've not answered the question. Now we are required to get uh, the find the P prime Q prime, the length, the length of P prime Q prime, uh, leaving the answer in the third form. The length is the modulus. So this is what you're supposed to get. P prime Q prime, the modulus, the length. And since um, we know, uh, we can simply write it here. P prime is, um, got it here, it is here 5, negative 4, it is 5, negative 4, is uh, 5, negative 4, and then Q prime is all we just got, which is a 4, negative 1. So this one in um, coordinate form, there is a Q prime, you can write this one as 4, negative 1 as well. Now, to get P prime, Q prime, first of all, we need to get P prime, Q prime. That is the first thing you're supposed to get. So we get P prime, Q prime. How do we get this? The length of that vector is obtained by, we take the column uh, vector for Q prime, which is uh, 4, negative 1. We subtract the column vector for P prime, which is 5, negative 4. And this will give uh, negative 1, and this will give uh, 3. As simple as that. So that is how we get it. Now what is now remaining is um, to get the, the magnitude of the length. So I'll have uh, create a space here. Just a small piece of space here. So this is a P prime Q prime. Therefore will be given by. Now we can write this one in um, so if we write this one in coordinate form, it will be negative 1, 3, which is not necessary this time. So to get the magnitude of the length of P prime Q prime, we simply take the X coordinate. The X coordinate is negative 1. We square, we square that, plus the Y coordinate of that uh, vector that is a 3 squared, and then we get the square root. So this will give 1 plus 9. And this will give the root of 10. We are simply required to leave the answer in sad form, form of sad. So that is how we're supposed to leave it.